Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for some Simic Elves. And we got Puppy here. That's her name, Puppy. It's National Puppy Day today. So decided to bring Puppy on the channel here. And yeah, we, we played some Elves the other day. It was a lot of fun. You know, like basically we're a kind of deck that is trying to uh, go really big with Marwyn and everything and, and draw a whole, like make a, get a whole lot of mana, use all that mana to draw a whole lot of cards with Krasis. And then also with that extra mana, if we get out fast, we can have Frilled Mystic, which is an elf, to counter our opponent's stuff, steal their stuff with Melody, and so on. Okay, so that's our deck. It's a fun one. I think we got five wins, I think, last time with this deck. If I remember right. I remember I really enjoyed playing it and wanted to play it again. And here we are, playing it again. Yeah, we could get some turn two Steel Leafs going on. So how old is Puppy? Puppy is probably, oh, probably about, probably about either four or five, I would say. Where are she? Like the first day of school, uh, one day, I, I went out to my side porch to go to work and she was just um, sitting on, on my porch. I, I had a house like out in the country and everything and so somebody just had an extra puppy and just dropped her off on my porch. And uh, you know, like when I went out to work, I was like, oh, hey, look, look at the little puppy. It's just this little puppy, she's so cute. And so put her inside, gave her some water and stuff, and put her in the laundry room, and went to work, and came back, and been, have been taking care of her ever since. She really likes just burying her nose here, and she's, she's definitely camera shy. The few times we've had her on camera, she's really camera shy. Hey, Code Junk, doing good. Yeah, that draw on the Land War Elf wasn't so good for us. I have, an I have another dog as well, Harvey. Um, Harvey's a lot bigger. She's, she's a lot bigger. Uh, she de she definitely doesn't won't come in here on stream. Uh, she Harvey is pretty mean to Hawkeye, where Puppy isn't. Harvey also is kind of hard to move around. She she only has three legs, so she's a little harder to to move around and everything. Also, I feel like my opponent's gonna have Ritual of Soot, and. Wreck me with that. So yeah, I have two dogs and a cat. And one cat. Um, one, two, three, four, five. No, this is Puppy. I guess I'm just playing this. Like, our other options were to, like, just go grab another clan caller from the deck with, with Incubation Druid or Adapt Incubation Druid. So far, our opponent doesn't have a Ritual of Set here. Okay. At least if they did, they didn't have a, a land. This looks like this, this may just be my Grixis discard deck. Unclear. So I, had, I had one duress in the main deck. Yeah, this is this is puppy. I guess if you, if you want to, you need a picture of, of Harvey. Um, if you go to my Instagram page that I haven't used in like over a year, I have pictures of puppy and Harvey running outside. And everything on there, on there. 
the same thing, Todd Stevens MTG, the Instagram. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna adapt here instead of grabbing a clan caller. No ritual, please. Oh, they have an Orzhov Enforcer? All right, never mind. It's not the Grixis discard list. They have Orzhov Enforcer. What are you doing with that? All right, Vivians and Carnage Tyrants sound pretty good. You know, I'm going to take out Clan Caller. And Marwyn isn't spectacular either. But Marwyn can add a lot of mana for us. Let's take out two Marwins for two negates. Do I want Harpooner to fight like Boluses and stuff? Maybe Harpooner instead of Melody. All right, let's try that. Let's try this, Hawk. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah puppy. <clears throat> Stream people over there. You're just so camera shy. There's the camera. You don't like the table. You don't like the table? Mulligan. Sorry. Our guy's back here. He's he's just laying down back there. He's just sleeping in the on that big red blanket that he likes a lot. I think this is a Grixis aggro list with disinformation campaigns. So the opponent did not play a second land. Now they did. Hmm. The dog's name is Puppy. And she's great. Ah, campaign was in there. Yeah, that could be it. Every time I the Puppy... They took took the other steel leaf. All right, so we'll get the growth chamber guardian out there as well, where we still have one negate. We don't really need to have double negate available against an opponent that has two lands. So shy. So good news is that thing cannot block my Steel Leaf Champion. Ugh. All 
Alright, come on, pup. You wanna go back? You can go play with Harvey. Alright, so now I'll have double negate available. Hostage taker is an annoying one. Gates aren't looking so good right now. Um, so, of course, I'm going to be adapting the Growth Chamber Guardian now. We'll have two mana, so we can either hold up Negate or play another Growth Chamber Guardian. I think... So, our opponent's likely just going to be playing that Steel Leaf Champion, especially if we just hold up the two mana. Like, they play the Steel Leaf Champion. It doesn't... Our attack doesn't look amazing. I'm going to get another Growth Chamber Guardian out there. So, we have them down to five. I could have Ritual of Soot here. have Lava Coil and Plague Crafters. Aye. They've drawn a whole lot of Thought Erasures. You know, last game they cost, cast three Thought Erasures, this game two. Oh, they do not care about Negate. So do I attack with the Incubation Druid as well, or not? Obviously, we're definitely attacking with the two Growth Chamber Guardians. I think the answer is not. If I attack with it, they they can you know block the Druid with Steel Leaf, chump here, they go to one. I don't think that's worth it. Having this extra mana with Druid is nice. All right, they're going down to one. We got double negate. Hopefully they have spells in their hand. Unlikely, considering they, they just took a Marwin instead of a Negate. Yep, that was the most likely scenario. They do need to double trump these. Attack. Huh, interesting. So, like, our opponent can only see one negate. I know there's only one with the icon here, but can they also only see one negate and not both? And there we go.
Simic Elves with the win. One and O. Oh. I know I know our opponents saw both, but I was wondering if if like one was still covered up for some reason, if like ongoing wise they could only see one. That's what I was wondering. But yeah, the I guess at least just the icon on my side. Because yeah, the, the icon should have been on both cards. Does this deck work well in best of one? Possibly. I don't really play best of one, so I don't I don't know. But you know, theoretically it's pretty proactive. I think it would be so it could, maybe. The Esper decks in Best of One, though, play a, a ton of sweepers, because they're playing like a bunch of Cryo Carnarium and Moment of Craving and all that kind of stuff, too. Gatsby says it does pretty well. Cast down. No. Ha. Huh. We have more mana. All right. Prop top. Prop time. Nice. Paid $34 for in-flight Wi-Fi. Well, I'm glad to have you here. We're going to be... We'll, we're trying for the 5-0. Uh, we're doing, you know, we we are playing the best best of three league. All these disinformation campaign decks. I think I'm gonna get rid of Beast Whisper. Hmm. Maybe I should have got rid of Marwin. I was, I didn't want to get rid of Marwin because if, yeah, basically, I thought I may need Marwin here, like the mana from Marwin if we didn't hit our land drop. Wow. Talk about rude. Play a Teferi. So I can just frill Mystic a Teferi. Do it. They're definitely thinking about it. I don't know what that thing does. I'm gonna counter it. Uh, this is, yeah, Interpol. The Heinrich maneuver. Barwick says, so after playing Arena throughout the whole beta, having a ton of gold saved up and still being nowhere near being able to build a tier one deck, how the heck does anyone build a real t tier one deck on Arena without spending like $500 on cards you'll never get your value out of? It shouldn't be that hard to get tier one decks. It's just like the yeah, it really should not be that hard to get, like, the cheaper tier 1 decks like Mono Blue and um, Drakes and things like that. And that's, and yeah, and that's what, that was going to be my other thing, is like how you said you, you'll never get the value out of the cards. Well, the value is the entertainment that you get, you know, while playing the game and everything. So we'll keep playing these Growth Chamber Guardians. So that's our last one that will help us get another card out. I 
Yeah, the five dollar welcome bundle is a is a really good is a really good value if you haven't done the five dollar welcome bundle. They're playing Dovin Security and Disinformation Campaign. Both. Scorpions on the battlefield. It's basically a scorpion. All right, Dovin Security back. Back in hand. No more Kai's Rats. Don't do it. Yeah, do that. Alright, they're up to 12. Let's cast this thing. Get a little extra damage in right now. And I'll go ahead and cycle this... Incubation Druid. Cycle Marwin. Yeah, I know I'm running more into a Wrath, but none of those cards mattered too much, honestly. The Incubation Druid, the Marwin, and stuff. I guess looking for like Frilled Mystic and Hydroid Crasis. Those are our cards that, that matter. So just cycling those. even if they get swept up. But it also does like make my opponent have to have the sweeper. All right, so we can take out Melody. We can bring in, I don't know, do I bring in Canopy to, to destroy those enchantments? Obviously Vivian and Carnage Tyrant are coming in and so are all these negates and disdainful strokes. And we could take out Clan Caller, a couple Marwin. Kind of same as last time. Could play a Thorn Lieutenant in this matchup too. So do I want Crushing Canopy to destroy those enchantments? I don't think so. No, I don't think I do. Let's go with this. That's awesome, Zerf. So Zerf says he uh, noticed the hairy shave cream and razors in his friend's bathroom that he's at, and he, his friend swears by. His actual words were, "If you, if you have these, are night and day to other razors." Hmm. So there you go, Harry's razors. They are awesome. You can get that starter set for only three bucks. Going through the referral link uh, there. If you shave, that makes sense. Yeah. So if you shave their night and day to other razors. Only three dollars to get their starter set. It's usually thirteen. Uh sign up for the subscription service, you get five dollars off. That subscription service is cancelable anytime, so that that knocks it down to eight, free shipping. And then using my referral link and coupon code Todd Stevens MTG gets you the other five dollars off and you can get it for just three dollars free shipping, US, Canada, UK. It is just it really is a great deal. And it helps support myself here with the uh, stream and everything so consider that all right but we need to get some news thank you gatsby judge thank y'all getting those hype boats in the chat we just had a, another subscriber mike 
resub in here for the second month. Thank you so much, Mike. You are awesome. Let's get that sub battle countdown is now under 140. Keep this going down here. Cool. Hybrid says solid 7 out of 10 Razor from their experience, but 10 out of 10 price. That's that's pretty good value. I've been using Harry's for years, but honestly, like, you know, before being, you know, I just got sponsored by them not very long ago, like a month ago or whatever. So obviously been using it way before that. I honestly don't really have other razors to compare them to because I've just liked them so much and they're really affordable and just keep getting them. So, oh, I just went the wrong way. No. We're not counting up, we're counting down. The count down. Go get him, Steel Leaf. Get him. So yeah, the sub battle is we're gonna take an entire day to just play against subscribers. So yeah, y'all will be you know, here in chat, we're gonna just take the whole day um, we'll be doing 1v1s all day. It'll be a lot of fun. And, yeah, that's the plan. And so we'll, whenever this, whenever the, the countdown reaches zero, then, you know, we'll do, like, maybe a poll on, like, which one of, like, the next, like, three days, uh, that, uh, we'll go ahead and have it then. Regular subs, of course, cost one. Doing the tier two subs cost two towards it, and the tier three subs cost six towards it, just like the regular sub points. And that is the plan there. Uh, Odin Leader, no, I will not be. And then Blitz Batman, also getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Let's keep that hype going for, thing goes, for Blitz Batman. You. Thank you so much. You can't stop nature. So I don't think I'd really need to minus and destroy the Dovin's acuity right about now. Let's just All right, move that down to 138. Let's just have the Vivian in play and kind of look for cards like Carnage Tyrant. Get more lands so we can have World Mystic available plus all these all this adapt adapting. The wilds are my shield. <laughs> Dovin's acuity. Dovin's acuity. Now we'll go ahead and, and keep them from just continually drawing cards and gaining life. And there we go. We're kind of stuck on lands. We're going to have the Disdainful Stroke for Kai's Wrath anyway. And Simic Elves is moving on to the 2 and O bracket. Five win dream still alive. Ugh. Handy dart. This deck's fun. I've been just enjoying these Simic creature decks, honestly. That's today the 23rd. Yeah. Realize Grixis Legends is ready to get published or processed on YouTube, but I gotta type out the stuff for it. So. We need more mana. Need more mana.
What are you doing over there, opponent? So I want more mana. Go with the Incubation Druid this turn. Because I want to be able to play Beast Whisperer plus Frilled Mystic. I don't, I don't think I really need to Entrancing Melody either of those. To be honest. Oh, nice, King Toll. You used your Mythics on Biogenic Ooze earlier. Yeah, Biogenic Ooze is sweet. Alright, so now do I have Melody one of these? I could, see, I could see taking one. So if we Melody, we still have five mana left. Oh no, let's cast this thing first. Marwin's just going to be so good. No, let me start going. Our opponent double blew up. All right, so Melody. So they're like teamer explore stuff. They could have like the flyers that are difficult, especially Rekindling Phoenix. So that's why I really like having the other Melody. I don't know if I want Vivian or Carnage Tyrant. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking no. I'm kind of thinking about just running this. I'm just going to run this. I think it, <clears throat> basically Vivian would replace Beast Whisperer if I want. Like that would be, uh, you know, we'd be able to switch those out if we want. Hmm. Not enough lands and stuff here. It takes a lot for me to mulligan when we have a green land and a land war elf and we mulligan, but that was certainly one of the times to mulligan that. Growth Chamber Guardian, I like that card. I like that card. I got one of those. So do I just melody their Growth Chamber Guardian here? Or do I adapt my own? Probably just Melody theirs, right? The problem is if I Melody theirs and then they play Rekindling Phoenix, and then I'm like, ugh, they have this Rekindling Phoenix. But I'm still like two mana away from taking a Phoenix anyway. All right, well, that worked. That worked out for us. No Phoenix. Let's 
This is a, a greedy play against the Phoenix, but I think if they had Phoenix, they would have just played it last turn. I could have just let the Growth Chamber Guardians trade, it, trade and be able to keep Frilled Mystic available. What you got, opponent? Druid? Druid's quite annoying. That thing turns into a 3 5. Anarchy with that Twitch Prime sub. Let's keep the hype going that we had earlier. Thank you so much, Epic, for that subscription there. With this countdown continuing on down. Ooh, block. Interesting. Oh, they thought that they could adapt it. They forgot about that the druid was summoning sick, I guess. I don't know. That's, that's what it sounds like how they said oops there. At least that's, that's what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just waiting on the, the crises. So I don't really have the incentive to... Like, yeah, we could play 4-4 four, four crisis. But then that... that Taps us out, and our opponent could, like, I don't know, like Vivian kill the Krasis, or Entrancing Melody the Krasis, or something like that. Just don't need to. We can have. We have a lot of mana right now, but we can have even more mana later. Even more mana later. No, 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 no. don't resolve all. Okay. Whew. I meant like resolve that trigger and then. That was close. Simic Elves. It's pretty nice, like, just getting on the battlefield, getting a lot of mana, getting on the battlefield uh, with some creatures and everything. Then your opponent's behind, and you just have these Frilled Mystics that just end the game. Frilled Mystic is awesome. <laughs> hey, you're welcome, Epic. Thank you for that sub. I really do appreciate that. Do I play any limited? Not Basically, I just play so much constructed that I don't play very much limited. I, I like limited, and there's times I do. Uh, but... Um, I think that... Or, like, I, I usually have a lot more viewers playing constructed than playing limited. And so I just don't kind of therefore play limited uh, before I started traveling to magic tournaments and made a name for myself and started streaming and all that kind of stuff I used to just basically only play limited on like magic online back in the day like you know whenever like the original Ravnica was out like around that er that time area not the original like the second one return to Ravnica gate crash like those kind of things Avacyn restored like those blocks around there because um, you know I would just 
play after after work and everything and uh just home alone with that and it was just more fun than playing constructed i liked hey handy dark good games you're playing team or domri okay yeah i had i did have very good starts both both games i just had fast starts with like the mana creatures and everything i i really did have good hands there for you but cool team or domri that's a sweet deck I was certainly worried about rekindling Phoenix that third game, and it was I was fortunate you didn't have Phoenix. No, I'm probably not gonna be doing any drafts on stream. Like I was saying before, I usually have a lot less viewers and stuff, and it's just Talking in the breeding pool. I'd rather just stay with constructed. All right, so teamer reclamation. Steel Leaf should be able to get some beats in here. We need to be the aggressive deck. Try to beat them down. Steel Leaf is a nice, fast clock. That can be difficult for them to deal with. They're going to enter into the Royal that. Do a draft for a donation deck. The pro Usually a, a draft and playing all the games takes a whole lot longer, though. Does it, does it even take a whole lot longer? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd really want to do a draft for a donation deck. Like I was saying, I just... I have been thinking about doing, you know, so there's different different uh, things for the YouTube channel that I've been considering putting together, and that could be one series is myself playing some limited for the YouTube channel. Right, yeah, there's an there's an audience for limited streamers for sure, but it's not usually it's not really my my audience. I have a constructed audience. But yeah, there's other limited streamers that do just fine. So I've I've a few things in the work right now of like just growing the channel and everything, and that's one thing of Maybe putting together a Patreon for the YouTube channel and having different uh, goals associated with that. And that would be one of the goals would be, uh, you know, adding in different, different, you know, just basically adding in more content to the YouTube channel. And that could be one of the options is the, like a limited series. I have a few different like series that I'm considering. All right, so Steel Leaf Champion did its job. Came down, was too fast of a clock for the opponents to deal with. All right, so bringing these all in. I probably need, probably want Harpooner or Vivian. Marwin's awesome in this matchup if it can survive for a while. The problem is it's surviving for a while. Clan callers are also just going to die. Like they're going to just have, like they're going to have their uh, fiery cannonades and stuff. Should I play melt? What if, I, what if I just keep Melody in? So 
they'll have like Krasis and Niv. I mean, Niv, you know, it's really hard to have eight mana for to melody Niv. Krasis, it's easy to, to melody. Maybe I just play the Carnage Tyrants. Yeah, I can certainly have Ooze also. And Phoenix. Yeah, let's let's keep the let's I'll, I'll keep the melodies in. for Ooze and Phoenix. Don't kill my elf. Don't do it. Don't kill the elf. Don't do it. Ooh, didn't kill the elf. Don't counter this either. Ooh, didn't kill the elf and didn't counter the Steel Leaf. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, Fiery Cannonade is going to be a good card here. Ooh, love it. Great draw. Man, fr Man turn two Steel Leaf and then having Frilled Mystic up is nice. I like it. Dang. Really wanted to draw land. Basically, we have everything we want in hand. We just want to draw land. Good. Come on, land. Because they could have Niv Mizzet. And then we have to canopy the Niv Mizzet, and then it, it kills our Llanowar Elf. Perfect. Mm. It's possible we need a canopy plus negate. It's certainly possible. Yeah, I missed a land drop for a turn. Oh, I guess. Oh, you're talking. You have a different conversation going on there. Sorry. No, they're not a Nexus deck. There we go. Gives us eight power. Good, they didn't have a red source either there. For old Mystic. Yeah, they had negate because they were like, uh, oh, nice. Boom. Simic Elves, 4-0, real quickly. All right, y'all know what time it is. Jolner knows what time it is. Move on over, regular playlist. Sorry, Liliana, or Lily Allen. <laughs> we are final bossing it up. All right, here we go. Let's get this 5-0. Lily, Lily Allen of the Veil. Vale. Ugh. Ugh. 
has been a quick 4-0 so far for our elf deck. Joy, if we're playing your Gruul Dinosaur deck up next. You were saying that you were going to have some, some new changes for the Gruul Dinosaur deck? If so, I'm going to need I'm going to need the deck list here pretty soon if we get this win. <laughs> Dragon Skull Summit. Nice card. Just be Look at opponent's hand. B sorcery. Look at opponent's hand. What if they cast another one? Dang it. Not a very good spot here. And that is why. Nickel Bolas is so good. Why couldn't you play that last turn, opponent? It's a good frilled mystic hit. So we, we need to find Krasis, and we need Krasis to be pretty big to be able to tussle with the Bolas. So I need to keep all the things that do, that are mana. So hopefully we draw a crisis. We're gonna have a whole lot of mana. We'll be able to crisis for uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll be able to crisis for eight next turn. Like x equals eight. Well. <laughs> Run. A chase stokes the forge. Never mind. Hmm. 
Again, we're playing against another removal heavy deck, so again, we're taking out Clan Callers and Marwins. <clears throat> I guess maybe, I guess we could have technically drawn Entrancing Melody there. I guess, I guess I wasn't 100% dead with my opponent minusing the Angrath. I just thought they were going to take up the Angrath, but with them minusing the Angrath, I guess I wasn't 100% dead. If I would have drawn Entrancing Melody, maybe. We'd have to have enough creatures to attack and kill Angrath. I don't know, it would have been tough. Don't know if Beast Whisperer is going to work. Let's try this. Okay, down a game. We do have our extra life still available because we are 4-0. So even if we do end up losing this, we do have our extra life and we get another match to get to that 5-win dream. All my druids. Man, they put out so rude. <laughs> that is true. Crisis is not an elf. We just, our elves generate a lot of mana. We need something to do with all that mana. And so that's why we got, that's why we have our crises. I don't think I want my opponent to draw two cards. No. That's basically a three for one. Keep them from drawing two, plus we get a three two out there. Wow. Rude. Hmm. Definitely considering just playing Growth Chamber Guardian and activating it. There. Good. Kill that. Kill all their things. They have two cards in hand and a Chemist's Insight over there in the graveyard. So, not a ton of stuff left. Do you need to be a little bit worried about, like, sweepers, like a Ritual of Such or something like that? And I want to keep a card in hand. That would be a good card to discard...
if they draw a Nicol Bolas. Which that'll be the Land War Elf. Do they have two mana in speed removal? Good. They're all about this minus two stuff. Moment, cry. They all about that. Yeah, we're already almost through the Simic Elves League. But we're, we're down a game here. Yeah, they don't like a Dante Vanguard. That's true. All right, one card in hand. What you got, opponent? I think it's time for a reset after this league. It is, Lucifer, and I've been doing really good. Yeah, we've had a couple of really good streams here the last few days and everything. <laughs> yeah, the Shire themes are... It's the breaking of the Fellowship. This is like the... The song at the end of Lord of, Earth, Lord of the Rings. I kind of want a melody... What do I take out for entrancing melodies? Do disdainful strokes actually counter things? Not really. It counters nickel bolus. It's kind of about it. Let's play two melody instead of disdainful stroke. Thanks, Neophilum. Yeah, this was a this was a donation deck. We've tuned it a little bit, uh, but yeah, this was somebody donated for this deck. Uh, before and it was awesome. We played a few days ago and I wanted to run it back. Okay. Um So the problem the problem with going all out I should just play breeding pool. I was planning on incubation druid, but then I decided to, to save incubation druid. The the problem with like going out with, with playing elf plus druid, which I think is the best play, but we've seen them have a bunch of cry of the carnariums. So I don't really want to do that. How are they playing a bunch of Cry, Cry the Carnariums in their Thief deck, anyway? What are they doing? Uh, so I'm going to kill this thing. Do I do I play Druid also? Or just attack? I feel like if they had Cry, they would have just played Cry last turn instead of Thief. It would have just got rid of my, my Elves. If they had Cry... Because why would they save Cry for after Thief is in play? That just doesn't make the sense at all.
And I don't really want to just activate the Growth Chamber Guardian on my turn because they had two mana up. We've seen them have cast down, Moment of Craving. They do not have two mana up anymore. So at least they do not have Soot. If they have a removal spell in response, we have the other three mana. I mean, my opponent kind of needs a sweeper here, right? I don't know if I want to play this or not. Like if I if I play this, then my my opponent hits me once with thief, gets an extra card, sweeps the board, then I'm you know like ritual of soot or whatever. Then I'm like just pretty dead. Because uh, then they'll have like a bunch of cards and I'll have nothing. Sure hasn't seemed like my opponent has a sweeper though, considering they they've had so many good opportunities to play a sweeper, and haven't. So we'll see what they get from me. Well, I'm sure they'll get... Uh, I'm sure they'll get at least a creature from me to be able to block with. At the very least. You know, even if they don't have anything else, they'll at least hit that. So I... Not thinking that we'll have lethal... Without the other Growth Chamber Guardian, still have something. So I accidentally tapped one extra. Okay, I cannot kill my opponent here. Technically the most damage. Dealt one extra damage. I don't know by attacking with like the incubation druid, but I, I want the other growth chamber guardian down also. We could, yeah, could have. If we don't play the growth chamber guardian, we could have put them down to four. But I think playing that, getting that growth chamber guardian on the battlefield also is nice. Uh, Code Junk, for your question, we played our Band Familiar deck that we played earlier today. We we played. I'm pretty sure we played against Gates in that matchup, and I think we won the sideboard games against Gates. I don't know. the The Band Familiar deck is just a Band Angels deck, 
So, Code Junk, check out check out that video on the YouTube channel. Basically, check out what we did there. Five O, Hawaii, Hawaii style five O. That is a five O. Dude, Simic Elves is nice. I'm liking this deck. We last time I'm pretty sure we went f we got five wins with it also, I think, if I remember correctly. That was a really nice league, you know, like it was just a really impressive showing from our deck. I think that the the green aggressive stuff with the blue uh backup and with like Krasis with like a lot of mana, Frilled Mystic was awesome. You know, Melody taking some some stuff. It did some things. Yeah, this was just a, a really nice quality deck. I liked it quite a bit. So if you like elves and you want to play some elves at your FNM and everything, maybe check out some Simic Elves. So if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.